today's passage starts off talking about um, a will. And a will is a legal document that someone might write explaining where they want their property and possessions to go when they die. Um, and the author of Hebrews starts off by saying that a will doesn't come into effect without the person dying. Um, that unless you can prove the person's dead, you can't inherit their stuff. Um, and then he talks about how also a covenant can't come into effect without the shedding of blood. And he talks about um, how when Moses receives the Ten Commandments, he, he comes down from the mountain and he scatters blood on the altar and over the people and he says, obey the commands of God. And he, in by, by scattering that blood, he's sealing the covenant with God. He's sealing that relationship with God. Um, and the author goes on to say that also forgiveness couldn't be sealed without, couldn't be completed without the shedding of blood. Um, but then he says that Jesus has come as the one true sacrifice. Um, and in the Old Testament, they used to um, use blood. They used to use the blood from an animal sacrifice to purify things, to purify things from sin. And so the fact that Jesus came once and for all was just one sacrifice, he died and he rose again and he's with God now, um, is so significant because the priests would have been repeatedly doing sacrifices um, to be purified. Um, but Hebrews is saying, no, Jesus has come and he's come once and for all. Um, and I think this could this um, passage could almost be a warning of be careful not to slip back into following a religion, following the laws, following the procedure of sacrifice, but make sure that you are following the living God, that you know that when Jesus died to save us from our sin, that he also rose again, that he's also alive. And let that sink into your heart. Don't keep that up in your head. He's saying, follow God with your heart. Um, and he says that um, at the end, he says, Jesus came to to take away the sins of many people and that he will appear a second time not to bear sin but to bring salvation to those who are waiting for him.